Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have found the the weapon from the Cold War integration that's coming to Warzone. This gun is actually I think the most broken one so far. Maybe along with the dual dad DMRs, but in terms of long medium to long range, nothing's gonna beat this gun and use it before it gets nerfed. Because this thing is gonna get nerfed like ASAP. This is probably on their top priority to to rebalance it hits like a truck it's like two two short headshot kill at any range much like the sks i believe the body damage is also pretty unreal best part unlike the sks this uses ar ammo so you won't be running out of ammo anytime soon and fourth the fucking killing potential on this gun is just nuts so definitely Definitely check this gun out. Load it up in Plunder, Cold War, whatever fits you. Because this gun deletes people. And I don't even want to clickbait this video, but this gun is actually just that good. Okay, let's start with the loadout setup. First, we go with the Agency Silencer. That's the range increasing silencer that's gonna be present in all Cold War guns. Uh, we need a barrel. There's a couple of options. Go with the purely fired increasing barrel. That's interesting. I was using that for a bit. Till I unlock this. This does reduce the effective damage range. The 17.1 strike team barrel. But it does increase the damage and the fire rate. The damage on this gun is already pretty high. Um, and so is the fire rate. But... Of course, there's a barrel to increase both of them, which just makes this gun so, so, so OP. And this was, this was fine, right? Like, this reduces effective damage. I'm like, yeah, this is, like, this cannot get any worse. And then I've unlocked this barrel. I have no words. Damage, effective damage range, and bullet velocity at the same time. How OP can, can a gun get? But this does come at the, the loss of the fire rate, as well as, Recoil control. So you can go with this barrel, 17.1. Uh, you can go with the 17 rapid fire, or you can go with the task four barrel. I personally stuck with the 17.1 strike team barrel. Even though the increased effective damage range and velocity is good, the sheer fire rate on this one just guarantees that you win medium to like slightly long range fights, not super long range fights. You might get beaten in those, but medium to kind of long range, you will. You will win all the good fights. So, yeah, that's a barrel I ended up choosing. You're gonna need an optic. For I don't know how these optics work in Cold War guns, but this 2x feels like a like 7x or something. So, go with the Vision Tech, Vision Tech 2x. Put on this reticle, the Precision reticle. This is the cleanest by far. Uh, this one's also pretty clean, so don't use this one, it's kind of weird. If you unlock the recon reticle, then use that. If you unlock the precision, then that's the one that you you want to go with. So slap that on. Are you going to go with an under barrel to reduce the recoil, horizontal recoil, because there's a bit of side-to-side -side sway, and once you start tapping your trigger finger fast, it's going to get in the way, so... It's best if you control the horizontal recoil with that. And then we're gonna go with the 30 round mag. You can also go with 30 round speed mag, but that has reduced ADS speed. And honestly, the reload is pretty fast on this gun, so you don't really need it. So up to you, whatever you wanna pick, 30 round, 30 round speed mag, 40 round, 40 round fast mag, whichever one works for you. Basically anything other than the 20 round default mag, that's not enough ammo. We're gonna roll with 30 round mag. And yeah, there you have it. That's the most broken gun in the game so far. I'll show you some gameplay, you'll see how quickly it deletes people. It's actually mind-boggling how they, they let this one go through. And I know this sounds clickbaity, but trust me on this. I'll show you the gameplay, you'll see for yourselves. This gun is just disgusting. But cool, so this makes it five days in a row where I uploaded a loadout video. If you guys enjoy this content, if you guys want to support me, I'm putting in hella effort. Spent like 5 hours yesterday leveling up the Crick 6 and this gun and the DMRI. If you guys enjoy this content, if you think this is helpful, 
drop that like for me i would really really appreciate it it's so helpful for me and yeah press that subscribe button as well it would notify you whenever i post more little videos there's more coming i'm gonna make a dmra video i'm gonna make the usps smg gun or ak-74u so many new guns to try out definitely gonna be making videos on all of them but yeah for the remainder of this video just hang around watch the gameplay see me delete people with this gun and catch you guys next video then bye for now so we can buy it. We went down. Broke, broke, down. Force is here. Fuck. Uh, this is under on the left side of blue. How did he get me so fast? They were mad. Down one. Down one. Fuck me, another one on me, bro. What? Fuck me. Uh, bye. Okay. I see you. Go, go, go. Hey, um, just popping on at the end of the video. I wanted to mention I am giving you some plunder gameplay as well because I was getting some bad ping on the battle royale. I hope these clips prove it to you just how insane this gun is. Um, yeah, just. Just abuse the fuck out of this gun while it's still there. Uh, this is gonna be the new meta for sure. This plus the MAC-10 or the dual DMRs, that's uh, the meta until they nerf these guns. And yeah, catch you guys tomorrow. I don't know what gun I'll be trying out tomorrow. I'll have a couple of them leveled up, so I may record gameplay with some of them. I'll let you know. Well, you'll see the post. But awesome. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I shall catch you guys tomorrow then. Bye-bye. No, eat. I'm not going to 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 eat. Nice. Yes, sir. This is alright.